All right, I think this thing's on. All right, cool. What's shaking, everybody? It's your boy, King of the Golden State. Just uh, sitting back, uh, you know, having a beer. It speaks for itself. But uh, we'll sit back, you know, doing an usual chill out, chill out type of sesh. Just doing nothing right now. Reading a comic book or two. But uh, decided to sit back and, you know, just think a little bit. You know, sort of, you know, sort of put the brakes on. You know, and uh, earlier today I was at work and I hit up a comic shop I, I frequent from uh, time to time. You know, and uh, it's somewhere in the South Bay, over in, over in the San Jose area of the Bay Area, if you guys aren't familiar. And, uh, you know, I just went in there and, you know, they gave me, you know, I went through a bunch of their boxes and picked up a whole lot, like, like a short box, but it was basically nothing too expensive. But, you know, they gave me a pretty good discount on uh, the books I picked up. And it's always, it's always because, it's always because, you know, you know, I frequent in there and buy, buy a lot of their books. And it's really cool. Um, you know, to just go in there and it's almost like being at home. You know, you feel at home a little bit, you know, as a comic collector to go into your favorite comic shop and buy, like, uh, God, gobs of comic books or or a graphic novel or a toy or what have you. And, um, you know, just enjoying yourself, just chilling out. Um, and you're having, a, you're having an all-around experience. You know, I like that. You know, even the owner... It's cool, you know. The owner, you know, is a cool, is a cool person, and you know, they make they make you feel welcome, you know. And I like that. I like, I really like that. I really dig that. Um, I got that with uh, two or three other comic shops I go to, you know, in the Bay Area, and I like that, you know. Um, there's one, you know, there's one, you know. Well, I can mention a city, and you guys probably won't be familiar with it, you know, if you're if you're from somewhere else, because just like. You guys would probably mention a city to me, and I wouldn't be familiar with it myself as far as where a certain comic shop is. But long story short, I frequent about three or four comic shops, you know, that are like my favorite, you know. There is those, like whenever there's always, you know, your, some of your favorite comic shops, there's always the ones that are, are the ones you don't dig very much. Um, and I think we all have that. I think... If there's anybody's a collector in comic books, they all have that one comic shop that gets under your skin. Not it hasn't happened to me lately, but um, we all have that one bad comic book store story. You know, the guy, the comic book guy from The Simpsons. You know, um, I I have one. You you definitely have one if you're a collector. You know, everyone has one. Um, there's always the comic book guy or comic book gal. You know, my case is the comic book gal. You know, um, like I live, I live in the Bay Area. I live in Oakland, California. More like Alameda. If you've ever heard of Alameda, Google it. Check it out. It's a nice city. Um, and it's right next to Oakland. About two or three blocks down the street from where I live, there's a comic book shop right down the street. I skipped that one to go sometimes 20, maybe 40 miles to another comic book shop, which treats you better, treats you a lot better. The one I go to, the one I used to go to was that one, was that particular comic shop. And that was when I started collecting up till, even up, to, even until now, you know, that shop, you ever been banned? You ever been banned from anything? <laughs> Like, I've I've been I've been banned from that comic shop, that particular comic shop, and it's not like you know I ban you from it for eternity. It was kind of one of those things where it's like, you know, don't come back. I'm like, okay, because really, you know, like I don't want to bash a comic shop, but if you yelp this particular comic shop, I don't want to see. I I don't want to use names, and I don't want to use you know like I don't want to bring out names or anything like that. I'm just gonna say. This particular comic shop has got really bad Yelp reviews. And I looked at other comic shops and they got good, you know, some of them got good reviews. For the most part, they got good, good reviews on Yelp. But it's laughable when you look at their, their Yelp reviews and it's like, it fits the character. It fits who, who that person is. 
and that would be my my bad comic experience. I used, I used to have a friend who used to work for this for a comic book guy, gal, and she fired him for um, for me ma for me making a joke having to do with a. Uh, uh, I forgot. I forgot what it was. It went way back. But I was making some stupid joke, but she took the joke ser too serious, and she started questioning him too much, to the point where, I guess he couldn't take it anymore, and he quit, or she fired him, and and she never let me back in the shop ever again. And, uh, and she's she's kind of out there, you know. I mean, like I said, some people were like, some comic owners have those issues of emotion where it's like, you know, they just flip out, you know, and there's some down and in the, and those are the outliers, you know, and then there's, com, there's comic owners who are really cool, really cool down to earth. You know, they like to chill out and t just talk comics with you or talk other stuff. Some, t some comic, some comic shop owners don't even, you know, they have, they have a comic shop. They don't even like comics. You know, I mean, I won't lie to you. I mean, some, they don't even like comic books, you know, and that's, that's cool. You know, I mean, if you want to, you know, have a shop where you, you know, you just want to run it as a business, you know, I mean, in the end of the day, it is a business, and, uh, but, yeah, I mean, I would say that's, like, my one bad comic experience that st stands out, you know, like, sometimes, once in a while, you know, you'll see, you'll see comic book guy or girl over at, like, say, a comic convention, and then you kind of, like, veer off that way, because you don't want to be like, I don't want to talk to this person, because they're such a jerk. You know, why would you? Sometimes they try to do that, and it's like, why are we talking? But, you know, I was just sitting back just thinking about that, because it was like, earlier today, um, yeah, I just got, like, like a stack of uh, back issues, you know, some John Byrne back issues, which I thought were really cool, and, and the owner gave me a pretty good discount on it. You know, I'm not trying to flaunt that. I'm just saying it's really cool to have somebody you know. It's, not, it's, it's good to have a good rapport. A good rapport with, you know, that comic shop owner, you know, not you know, not like a, and they give you, you know, and it gives you a good experience in their store. You don't have a bad experience, you know, where they're saying read it or, or you know buy it, or stop reading it or and buy it, you know, you know, this place isn't a library. Cause I remember she said that one time to me when I was like, oh God, 12, 13 years old. I was just reading like, um, God, I forgot the name of that, that newspaper that the comic shop used to have. I want to say the uh, comic shop news. I think it was comic shop news. And I was just flipping it open and just reading it for a minute, and she gave me she gave me some hell for it. You know, it was like, yeah, buy it or get out. And it was like, it and it was really close to those lines. It wasn't anything like, you know, you know, being nice about it. It was kind of just being direct and being a jackass. So um, I was just sitting back thinking about that. You know, I mean, I'm sure, like I said, if you're a comic collector you've had a bad experience in a comic shop. I mean, you know, so I can't really get into detail on it, on my bad experiences, but I got to the point where I kind of drew a line and said, you know what? I'm going to go to Oakland. I'm going to go to Hayward or I'm going to go to San Jose. There's other places out there and I got way better selections. And like I said, some of our back issues were kind of like, they were so jam packed that you could barely flip them. You could barely flick them, flip them or anything. They were so jam packed. And when you had to pull them out, it was like, you probably shouldn't put them back in or else you're going to start to, you know, crease the, the spine or something like that. It's so terrible. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, uh, I'm sure you guys will have bad comic experiences. Probably have some good ones. Feel free, you know, to, uh, you know, post them down in the, uh, comics, the comment, uh, comics. See, I got my mind on the comic books. Post your uh, bad comic experiences down in the comments below. Um, feel free to like the video, share the video for people who may have had bad comic experiences. You know, maybe we could all, you know, group hug. You know, just uh, I don't know, talk it out. Uh, also, please subscribe. Anyway, gotta go. Bye.